All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Jurassic at Home. Today, I'm going to take a crack at reading a book to you guys. So, Miss B has been reading some, and uh, I might not be the best reader, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot today. So, we're going to read Who's Butt? And at Jurassic, we like to talk about goofy things because goofy things are fun to talk about. So, we've talked about mammal poop, we've talked about uh, I'll throw up before. Uh, today we're going to talk about animal butts. Okay, and you guys can follow along and uh, you're going to try and guess whose butt is on each of the pages. All right, whose butt? It's the photographer. I love taking pictures of animals, but it's not always easy. Sometimes the animals run or fly away. When this happens, I only get pictures of their butts. But can you name the animals I tried to take pictures of? This may look like an ordinary animal butt, but watch what happens when it dashes away. Whose butt is this? Can you guys guess whose butt this is? Any guesses? It's a deer. When a white-tailed deer senses danger, its tail shoots up in the air. Boing! The white on the underside of a deer's tail is like a warning flag. It tells the other deer that danger is near, so run, run away quick. Hence the name white-tailed deer. So that's where we get that name from. With a long shaggy tail, it looks like a dog's butt. But you wouldn't want to pet this behind. Whose butt is this? Any guesses to this one? It's a wolf. A gray wolf can communicate with its tail to tell other wolves that it's the leader of the pack. A wolf holds its tail up high. A frightened wolf puts its tail between its legs. An excited wolf might wag its tail, kind of like your doggies at home. There's a funny shaped tail on this butt but you'll be surprised what a flat tail can do. Whose butt is this? Anybody got any guesses? It's a beaver. An American beaver has a wide flat tail that makes it waddle when it walks, but its tail is very helpful. A beaver uses its tail to steer while swimming. Also, one slap of its tail on the water, whack, will let other beavers know that danger is near. It's white and fluffy like a bunny's butt, but this rump can run incredibly fast. Whose butt is this? Has anybody got any guesses? This one's not Ohio native, so we've talked about a lot of Ohio native stuff. But this one is not. Lives out west in like Colorado, Wyoming, the Dakotas, places like that out on the prairies. It's a pronghorn. So pronghorn antelope. Pronghorns are the fastest land mammals in North America. They can zip across the prairie at 70 miles per hour. That's as fast as a car. Vroom! If you glimpse one of these speedsters, you may only see its fluffy white behind as it races away. Hence the name Speed Goat. That's their nickname. This critter raised the tail on its butt, but don't get close to find out why. Whose butt is this? We've talked about this animal before. It's a skunk. A striped skunk has a stinky way of protecting itself. When it feels threatened, a skunk will spin around and raise its tail. Other animals had better stay away or they'll get sprayed. A skunk shoots a smelly, oily substance out of its rear. Phew! This critter may have a cute fuzzy butt, but it's part of a powerful digging machine. Whose butt is this? Now this animal is considered Ohio native, okay, but it's on the endangered list just because we don't have hardly any in the state of Ohio, but there is quite a few in North America. Again, they're more out west. It's a badger. Growly and snarly, American badgers have short, powerful legs. Their bodies are built for burrowing. When they dig a hole, you'll quickly see their rumps disappearing behind a pile of dirt. 
Badgers spend more time underground than above. This animal likes to show off its butt, but there's a reason it shakes its tail feathers. Whose butt is this? Any guesses there? A little bit tougher one. It's a grouse. Dusky grouse have plain looking tail feathers, but when they fan out their tails, wow, a boy grouse struts about and dances. He shakes his tail feathers to show off for the girl grouse. So kind of like wild turkeys do around here. That sure is a large and fuzzy butt, but all of that fur is useful when it's cold. Whose butt is this? Any guesses to this one? It's a bear. A black bear is covered in fur from its head to its rump. A bear's soft under fur keeps it warm during cold months. Its rough outer fur protects the bear from bug bites. A bear's fur also repels water. After a dunk in the river, a bear shakes it like a dog to dry off. These animals have striped tails on their butts, but what are these critters looking for? Whose butts are these? You guys should know this one. We've talked about this animal too quite a bit. They're raccoons. Northern raccoons are nocturnal, meaning they come out mostly at night. You guys should know that. Uh, they have dark masks across their face and dark rings around their tails. These markings help them hide in shadows at night as they look for food. Especially in your garbage cans. <laughs> this tiny critter has a twitchy butt, but there's a reason it flutters about. Whose butt is this? Any ideas? It's a chickadee. Black-capped chickadees' twitchy tails help them dart about as they feed. During winter, small birds like chickadees struggle to stay warm, so they need to be quick when searching for food. Zip! Food gives them energy to stay warm. The end. All right, guys. Thank you so much for following along with my book today, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.